political supporter. It wouldn't surprise me, given the control she seems to have over people's minds. Is I mean, I, I think we're both assuming that if she ran in the Democratic primary, she'd get the nomination, right? Absolutely, because, look, you have to figure out... Uh, and, and Wendy acknowledged uh, this in a certain sense. If you're the Democrats, you want to try and drag... Bill de Blasio or right. Elizabeth Warren or Bernie over the finish line? Or do you just want to cut to the chase and go with Oprah? And they're betting that if it's Trump versus Oprah, he's not going to be able to do to her what he did to Jeb and Hillary. And she, and, and in a sense, that's valid. She, she was by far the least idiotic person at that award ceremony last night. Uh, I mean, she was crafty and cunning yes. in the way she tied her personal story to this uh, Me Too business. Um, you know, I mean, which, which I think is actually one of the interesting things uh, about it. Um, you know, to me, that ceremony was ludicrous. Uh, I felt for Rose McGowan and Rosanna Arquette and Mira Sorvino, as I felt for the girls in Rotherham, England, I spoke to, who'd been uh, sexually abused by these Muslim grooming gangs and then watched as all these opportunist activists and politicians uh, turned the scandal into a way to advance themselves up the greasy pole, and the victims were ignored. And Always. that's exactly what happened last night. Uh, Mira and Rosanna and Rose McGowan didn't get any invites to the Golden Globes, and instead all these ridiculous A-listers like Meryl Streep uh, came along and said, well, I'm going to show how much I support defenseless women by only wearing black. So I've ordered my couturier to uh, dress me uh, like uh, Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. That'll show them. And it was completely preposterous. And uh, Oprah, Oprah actually took... Oprah, who was more opportunist than any of them, actually uh, seized that issue... Uh, and, and appropriated it to herself, which I'd be annoyed about if I were Mira Sorvino, but she did it at a skill level that's way beyond Nicole Kidman or, or uh, Meryl Streep or any of those other ladies. No, no, she's talented. There's no question about mm. it. And, and she certainly is a brilliant communicator. Someone said to me, though,